review, and this video review will be of Transformers, Beast Hunters, Voyager Class, Predaking. Now, Predaking's came out with a couple figures. This is that's their newest one. He, I found him in the store. I just saw my whole video. I found him in my local Target. I was very interested in getting him. Very, very simple transformation. Probably like 10 steps, I think it was. 10 steps just to transform him. Very easy. And a lot of people are saying this is like the Voyager Predaking. Not Voyager. Scout Class Predaking. I don't know. I don't have the Scout Class Predaking. So I couldn't tell you. But I could say I see the, simp the simple fact of it. But I don't know. So anyway, before I talk about the figure himself, I'm going to show you some size comparisons of him in Dragon Mode. Here he is compared to Grimlock, full Cybertron Grimlock. Let's show you that size comparison. Here he is compared to War full Cybertron Generations Kickback. And for height in Dragon Mode, here he is compared to Voyager Class Shockwave. Hang on, let's lift his wings up. I mean, still, pretty big figure. Anyway, so after that, we'll talk. Now we'll put his wings down. So let's talk about a couple of accessories. He does have this gun right on the back. It does plug into it. it. Has to plug in this way. If you plug it this way, it gets caught and doesn't look as right. This is actually looks the best. It's just it's not it's like a flick fire missile. That's all. Holds in the gun. The gun's actually nice. By a little ball joint. You can see it. Right there. But the gun's nice. The weapon, the missile looks like to me a dragon. But, I don't know. Whatever. We're just going to put that there. Next. Talk about articulation. So, articulation for Dragon Mode. His head can go up and down. Wings can, like, do a flat. These bits can move. Tail can go up and down. But And these back legs can go forward and back. And in and out on that hinge. <clears throat> and his front legs can go and up and down, in and out, bend, rotate, and this can bend. That's that's really it. And for articulation, I want to say this, the black and orange on it is very nice. I think this is probably the most cartoon accurate Predaking I've seen. And I know, I, I would never say, I would, oh, I'm never going to get another prime figure, but you know what? This one looked very nice. Got some... Engraved in his wings. Even the wings, they look very veiny. Engraved in his tail. Uh, Cybertronian writing on him. And I absolutely do love it. I love this figure. Is it the best figure? Not by a long shot, but still. I mean, here, look at the head. The head on Predator King is nice. Look at that. Anyway, so let's get a transformation. What you want to do? Come back here. One unpeg. The sword from between his robot legs, which out on the side. Which, by the way, you want to see how big this sword is? Here he is next to Deluxe Class Armada Starscream. Yeah. Big as him. Just saying. Anyway, we'll put that to the side. Next, we will, we want to do and take, come up here, unpeg, and they're all on Ratchet, so... All the way to hear like that blow click. Take his foot, bring it down. You want to do this first before you bring this foot around, otherwise it'll get stuck. There's a little peg right here, peg hole in his dragon foot, and there's one leg. Make sure it's in there all the way. It doesn't feel like it's gonna stick, but it does. On the other side, this whole thing's very ratchety too, which is very nice. In a lot of poses, and then there's his legs. Now you want to, oh, how are we going to see the rest of the figure? Yeah, we're going to have to. See, Zay, you can't even show him up there. Like, hang on. I'm going to try to show this to you guys. Okay. 
Next, we'll come up here, rotate these down, come up his dragon feet, which reveal the hands. So, do that and that. Next, you want to come up here, flip up the dragon head, bring it all the way down. This is, I add this to myself. This is not typically rotated, and the instructions it tells you keep it this way, but you can see it. So, and then bring that down. The wings you can do whatever you want with. For purposes here, I'm going to put the wings down. And then, just rotate the head. And there you have them. Predator King. So I'm hoping now, I'm kind of being a shot, kind of. So I like him. He's very show accurate. And then his sword, of course, plug into one hand, and his gun can plug into the other. He's very, very show accurate. I would say. Very, uh, he all ratchet everywhere. I'll show you that. Is it made out of purplish, translucent? plastic around him so he's very see-through so I mean here show with a light behind him you kinda can see that so that's pretty cool and to show you the size of him in robot mode here he is compared to masterpiece Soundwave same size look at that same size And here he is compared to his master who created him, Shockwave. In scale, in scale. In Dragon Mode and Robot Mode, he's in scale. Like, this was about the size I, I would say Predacon should be. Take him off. So now let's talk about articulation. Head, and rotate, left and right. Arms on a ratchet, go rotation. In and out, bend, rotate the elbow. Another ratchet at the elbow. That can do it due to transformation. Legs can go forward and out, up and down. Rotate, bend at the knee. A good 90 degree and more. Rotate at the knee. And that's really it. And then the foot, kind of do that, but not much. Very, very posable figure. You can get in a lot of dynamic poses. But the pose I like the most in is that just standing there and then like I said the wings you can kind of just move them you can have them out to the side like that I just saw P.I. Uh, he did it or he made it look like a P. hey look that's a first this came off his head if that does happen just plugs into that little hole right there if that happens to you, just a little hole. So, hmm. I kind of like that, what Pia did. Looks, looks like a cape. But it, I like my Predator King with no wings look showing. It's kind of like that. Very slim. Very cool, very cool figure. Do I recommend him? I, yes. I do. And also, as you saw, that was the transformation. It wasn't that many steps. I recommend him. Yes, I do. There's not much I could say about this figure that I don't like. I mean, I, I wasn't getting any Predator King. I didn't like Predator King. I liked the character of him in the show. Didn't like the figures. This one, worth it. I got it for 19, 20 bucks. Very worth it. 20 bucks. Could be a little cheaper. Maybe more like 17, 18-ish. But very worth it. Very worth the pickup if you see him. I do like this figure. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Please leave a comment, ring and subscribe. And again, as always, please leave a like. See you guys later. Peace.